Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nabil Irfan bin Nasir, metric number 2010063 and my teammates are Muhammad Shafiq bin Ramli, 2016403 and Muhammad Wafi bin Abdul Wahab, 2018953 and we are going to present about foundry, the casting process. First, we start with apparatus and material of the casting process. Um, firstly, we need our product. In our case, we use toy hammer as our product. Second is molding flush, dry putting sand, molding sand, tongs, trowel, screw pins and riser pins, hand rammer, aluminium, strike of bar, wire, burner, and crucible. We move to the procedure of the casting process. First is we put the half of the product inside the flask or drag. We make sure it does not touch the corner of the flask. Second, we give a quick sprinkle of dry parting powder to the product. This is to make sure the sand does not stick to the product. Then, we fill the drag with molding sand until it covers all the area in the drag. And we compare with a hand rammer. Why we need to compare it? Because we make we want to keep the mold is strong enough. That is, we fill the molding sand and remove the excess molding sand using a striking bar. The fourth is we flip the flush to set up the gating system and we put the cork on the top of the drag, then locating the pins at both sides of the flush. This is to make sure the flush not moving while we pouring the molten metal. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Now, we are moving on to step 5 of this procedure. In step 5, put another half of the product on top of the first half of the product earlier and give a quick sprinkle of dry parting powder until it covers all the area. Then, put the sprue pin and riser pin at some distance from the product and the side of the flask and fill in the molding sand in the flask and remove excess molding sand with a striking bar. Next, give a gentle tap to the sprue pin and riser pin, twist and remove it. Use a trowel to take the top off around the pouring hole and produce a pouring basin. The purpose of pouring basin is to ease us in pouring the molten aluminium into the sprue. Moving on, Add some vent holes by pressing in using a piece of wire to let the air and smoke to escape. Remove the locating pins and split the two halves of the flask and give a gentle tap to the product and pull it out to make a pattern. Next, with the knee procedure, cut a small bolt to cut a gap to make sure the melt melted aluminium flows into the uh, mold cavity and don't forget to use a pair of goggles and softly blow the pattern to make sure there is no loose end and pin the flask together. Then turn on the burner and heat up the aluminium in the crucible up to 570 to 770 degrees Celsius until it turns into a liquid state. Last but not least, don't forget to use our uh, personal protective equipment, PPE, in handling the crucible with tongs and pour the molten aluminium into the pouring basin through the sprue to the mold cavity. Make sure the aluminium reaches the riser to make sure the aluminium is fully occupied uh, the mold cavity. The last step is we let the mold cool down for 10 to 15 minutes. We open the flask and take the product out from the molding sand and here is the result. Next, we move to the precaution step while doing this process. First is we need to wear a personal protective equipment before we start the process. This is one of the safety steps when we want to enter the workshop. The second, use goggle when blowing the dust on the pattern. This is to ensure the dust will not get into our eyes. Third is we make sure do not touch the product when opening the flask after cooling process because the product is still hot and we can use a glove to remove it.
Okay, that's all from our group. Thank you.